Homer Hayden, Aaron Douglas, and Jacob Lawrence were all artists during the Harlem Renaissance that were influenced by many different things and used completely different styles in their artworks. But all three of these artists, and many other artists of the Harlem Renaissance, all painted a similar theme of black culture and history. This general theme of African American life, that was painted by most black artists of the Harlem Renaissance, was used to create an understanding of the black identity to help all African Americans rise to equality and no longer be looked down upon by whites. Palmer Hayden was an extraordinary artist during the Harlem Renaissance. He used his oversized things and intense cartoon-like expressions that seemed to be influenced by American folk art. His art has broad influences from African art and modern art that Hayden encountered while studying in Paris. He uses these influences to create masterpieces that interpret the challenges of African American life. Much of Hayden's work after studying in Paris was focused on the African American experience, he tried to capture the urban and southern life of blacks to utilize the black struggle. In the painting, The Janitor That Paints, Hayden uses an intriguing cartoon-like style. Whites in the 1920s would look at an African American janitor as uneducated and dumb, but in this painting, Hayden fights the stereotype by illustrating the unknown creativity of the janitor as an artist. This painting by Hayden illustrates his interesting cartoon expressions on the faces of the people in the street. This painting portrays the upbeat and happy lifestyle of African Americans in Harlem during its renaissance. This painting by Hayden shows the style of enlarging things, such as the heads of the people playing cards. This painting also gives an insight on the black culture inside of a jazz club during the Harlem Renaissance to give an idea of this energetic black lifestyle. The painting, The Watermelon Race, once again uses Hayden's cartoon-like style to show some black southern stereotype. By Hayden illustrating a black southern stereotype, he utilizes the fact that racism is still very alive to give an idea of the many ways blacks are harassed. Aaron Douglas arrived in Harlem in 1925 as the Harlem Renaissance was at its peak. He generated many great paintings between the mid-1920s to the mid-1930s. Through style and themes, his work concentrated on the African heritage and the historical identity of blacks. Douglas's style embraced the flattened cutout style of synthetic cubism and was heavily influenced by Matisse. Most of Douglas's work exploited black struggles in the life and history of African Americans. He took many great risks in his art and later received numerous commissions to illustrate books and create wall-to-wall -wall murals. This painting by Aaron Douglas is a good example of Douglas using this very flat and cut-up style. In this painting, he illustrates the black struggle of slavery, one of the most important factors of black history. This painting by Douglas also illustrates the importance of slavery by once again using the synthetic cubism style. This painting by Douglas uses his flat style to illustrate African heritage. It shows the creativity in African culture as evolved into the Harlem Renaissance. This painting by Douglas shows his interest and influence from Egyptian art and his fascination with the discovery of King Tut's tomb. In this painting, Douglas illustrates black slavery, but mixes it with the slavery of building the pyramids in Egypt, as well as the building of modern skyscrapers. Chronologically, Jacob Lawrence is born into the post-Harlem Renaissance generation. He was born in 1917 in New Jersey and then moved to Harlem when he was 13. He then mixed the complexity of New York and his deep interest in African history to become the most influential artist to emerge from the Harlem Renaissance. Lawrence's style displayed a self-assurance that matched the ambitious and magnitude of his themes. He also uses geometricized forms, unexpected elements, and sharply defined elements to use a strong sense of color. With this intriguing style, he created multi-canvas artworks that brought forth historical narratives on black history. In the painting, The Great Migration, by Jacob Lawrence, he uses his strong sense of color to illustrate the great migration of African Americans to northern cities in 1917 
that resulted into the Harlem Renaissance. In this painting by Jacob Lawrence, he uses creative style of unexpected elements and bold colors to show the lifestyle of blacks during the Harlem Renaissance. In this painting, you can just see the vibe of happiness and the creativity that flows through the streets of Harlem during its Renaissance. This painting by Lawrence is a good example of him using bold colors to create a work of art. In this image, Lawrence composed the classroom environment as a landscape where the importance of education and growth, especially for girls, is emphasized. In this painting by Jacob Lawrence, he creates a distinctive image of the black leader, Frederick Douglass. Lawrence created a series of paintings of Frederick Douglass because he felt that for black history to really be told, black leaders such as Frederick Douglass needed to be illustrated. Overall, you can see this general theme of African American history, daily life, and their struggle behind all black artist paintings during the Harlem Renaissance. Palmer Hayden, Aaron Douglas, and Jacob Lawrence were all artists during the Harlem Renaissance that painted this theme through different styles to have people understand the African American identity, which was necessary in creating new and creative characteristics of rising to equality for the African American during the Harlem Renaissance.